Hey, welcome back to Master Guitar Friend. My name is Jörg. Uh, my buddy just dropped off this acoustic guitar here. He's a beginner, starting from scratch. So he asked me to change the strings because he busted the lowest one when he was doing it and he didn't be done anyway. So, and I will do that for him. So let's go check it out and see how you restring an acoustic guitar. Okay, so what we're gonna need is a tutor, a pair of pliers, a string winder if you have one. And I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon oil on that rosewood fretboard because uh, it hasn't been touched in a few years. And of course, strings. Uh, I'm gonna put lights on there because uh, my friend is a beginner. So it'll be a little easy for him to start. And uh, if you wanna see how I applied the lemon oil, I have another video of things to do with an electric guitar when you do a string change, okay? So you noticed I've already pulled off the old strings. I basically slacken them, cut them with the pliers. Next thing is to remove the pegs. And sometimes they're stuck, so you might need a pair of pliers. Or what I normally do is I kind of push down on the string, and then that way I'll come up. You can also reach under and lift them up. So I'm gonna put them Try to put them in the same order as they were. There we go. So these have little grooves. So remember that's where the string will go through eventually. Okay, so next we take the peg, we'll stick in the string, and we make sure that we use the groove along the string and push it down and then pull up on the, on the string. There we go. So there's number one. And put another one in. Again, making sure the groove is there. There we go. I'll put that one to the side for now. And then we'll move up to the next. I know this is pretty basic, but uh, you definitely want to make sure that your strings are always on the inside of the headstock running to the neck. Okay, that's very important. If you turn the wrong way, once you have your string through the hole, you, you, you might have it coming from this side. That is wrong, okay? So make sure all the strings are always to the inside of the headstock on your pruning pegs. All right, so I'll line up my holes 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. I'll put the string through there and I tighten it. And then I will take about one and a half the length of the tuning machines here, okay? Because I'm going to need that to wind at least two full turns or a bit more. Okay, so that's how you measure. Make sure you're in the in the bridge, in the nut slot. Okay, now we're gonna make a little crank here. We'll take it back out. And now we're gonna go in from behind. Okay. Well, who said a toilet roll? Could not come in handy. So I'm just going to demonstrate to you how to wind, okay, the, the string. We've come in with our string from behind, okay, towards the neck. The neck is on this side where this piece looks out. Okay. So now, now we're going to start turning, and we're going to make sure that the first turn goes above. A little end that sticks out. We'll keep turning and turning a little hard here. Okay, and as we come to this end again, we make sure that we're underneath. Okay, that we're underneath with that second turn. So basically, we're sandwiching this end between the two strings, and then we continue on the winds underneath. Okay, so 
so that's the way it should look okay and this has to be on the inside of your headstock of course as I just showed you there in the picture okay go in from behind the first wind that we're gonna do we want to make sure that we go on top of this end piece. So I'm actually sort of holding, that's how I'm holding this string here. And here we go. So we want to go on top first. So the end piece has to be underneath. And then the next wind, we want to be under. Okay. Under this as well. So that the end piece is sandwiched in between the winds, okay? That gives it a nice tight feeling here. Okay, so that's the first one. On my next one, on the ace frame, I'm gonna take a little bit less. So probably just maybe the, that distance here, because there's a yeah, I'm not worried about it, but uh, two turns should be plenty and a bit. So this time, I'm just gonna take a little bit more. Just a little bit past that post. Make the crank. Take it out. Sounds so nice. New strings. Beautiful. Okay. So again, we want to make sure that we go underneath first. And then we want to make sure that we're underneath the next one. The previous one, and of course we want to be under this part here. Square, sandwich it in. needs to be tuned correctly. We'll clean up that mess. Some people leave that stuff loose, but I like to just take it off. Always careful that you don't cut the wrong one here. That could be another trip to the music store. So I got about three turns, three, three, uh, two and a half. And then on the smaller ones, I'm actually having more. So, and that's good on the lower strings and the thinner strings, you wanna have a few more windings. Now the important thing is to make sure that we do some stretching and feel free to just grab the string. and then just tune it up. Okay, so I will stretch it a little bit more. But this is now done and ready for my body. Quick demo how to restrain an acoustic. Thanks for watching.